It's been a wild ride on Wall Street this week. Investors all over the place with each new headline for Omicron. But for the year, lots of green on the screen with all major averages posting double-digit gains. So let's find out if Omicron will be the Grinch in the new year or not with me now. Our power panel, Melissa Armo and Eddie Gabor. Melissa, uh, good ladies first. So we will say we've seen lots of volatility since the Omicron variant was announced uh, you know, to the world. W was there an overreaction in the markets, do you think? I don't think there was an overreaction because the market is concerned about the possibility of another shutdown. I think the number one problem right now is nobody knows what the future holds for a possible other variants and this current variant. And I'm not saying there's a reason to be worried about it. I'm saying it's the government's reaction to the possibility of another shutdown or partial shutdowns. And so the government's concerned about that and people are concerned about that. And I think the market will continue to react heavily and negatively if we see more problems with COVID in 2022. Right. We, see, we hear one thing from the administration, it seems, and then you see something else start to take place. So, Eddie, uh, do you expect that volatility to continue next week? Uh, and what about you know, the first th few months of, of 2022? I think the first half of 2022 is going to be extremely turbulent. And I expect to see a lot of downward pressure in the stock market next year, uh, even bigger than this new variant that everyone is freaking out about. And the market was is the fact that our GDP is slowing down. Our economy is is damaged right now. And the rate of change on our GDP is going to be slowing going into 2022. And we have a Fed that's going to be tightening monetary policy during a slowdown. When you tighten monetary policy while the economy is slowing down because of the inflation that's going to crush the consumer next year, that's a worst case scenario for risk assets. Right. Look, my, my uh, nickname and Twitter handle is Common Sense Bull. So I've been <laughs> bullish a lot in my career, but I'm extremely bearish and cautious going in the next year. Investors need to be active, trade right. and start playing defense for 2022. So got it, Grinch on this one. So, but Eddie, let, let me ask you then, where, where in basic terms, where should I have money? Where should I look for trades? So in our opinion, what we have done actually is we've rotated out of small caps, out of commodities. We've gone into healthcare, staples, real estate. We really like real estate going in the next year. Uh, and then as well as gold, we're going to be putting on a gold position that we haven't had on in a while going in the next year because we want to own things that are defensive and what we like to refer to as a, a flight to safety and really right. focusing more on quality holdings versus more speculative plays for next year. We think that's the winning equation for next year. Okay, so Melissa, set December trading aside with the volatility we've seen at the end. Uh, let's say, you know, I'm sitting at home right now, uh, Christmas Eve, getting ready for Christmas dinner. Um, I've just opened the pair of socks I got from my mom. She's going to kill me for saying that. But what, what steps should we take now to protect the money that I've made all this year in the stock market? Because it, it has been a big year. Well, I will say this. I'm not as bearish as any on the market for 2022, but I do think that inflation is a problem. If you want to protect your profits, then obviously you'd sell. But if you're young and you're nowhere near retirement, there's no reason to do that because the market over the long haul is typically always bullish. Even though we had that sell off in March of 2020, we had a huge, massive recovery after that. Let's just say worst case scenario. And I always say 50 50 chance if we had another shutdown, a partial shutdown we would drop off and we would rally back. So unless you're in retirement age right now, or you're currently retired, I really wouldn't worry about it. I'd focus on the things that have had giant moves. Amazon has had a big move. Apple, Google, all the big names that you know, that people know and buy the products and services of, those stocks right. are gonna continue to hold the uptrends no matter what the market does, no matter what happens so, to COVID. And so, earnings season, it starts in January, early February, and then you're gonna start to see some things really, right. really move. I think the problem is the big sell-offs and the panic days that we happen because the market, when it does wanna sell off, happens very quickly. And that creates fear and panic with people. And that's what's happening with COVID. Yeah, COVID Melissa, is fear and panic. Yeah, Melissa, yeah, Eddie, both of you, I just want to get real quick because we're running out of time here. What's one stock, Eddie, one stock that you like in 2022? So I would stick with real estate for 2022 as a total sector. I think that's the best inflation hedge, and it's got low okay. volatility in what we think is going to be uh, a sizable correction. Perfect. And Melissa, one stock from you very quickly. 
A bullish pick is Apple. It just made mm. new highs. The next target's 200. That company is not going anywhere anytime soon. People right. love their iPhones. I like Apple. Real estate and tech. Got it. 2022. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Now go get your eggnog. You are free for this year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So. <laughs> So this year's holiday feast is actually taking weight off your wallet. Grocery store chain owner 